Hello, I'm Dr. Prakash Vemko. I am a neonatologist and a pediatric intensivist working at Oimbo Children's Hospital, Banagata Road, Bangalore. Today, I am going to give an important information to the parents regarding the chicken pox vaccination. It's also called varicella vaccination. Now, we all are aware that chicken pox is quite a common infection, especially during the summer time. And most of the kids are prevented from acquiring chicken pox during the first nine months to 12 months of age. And generally, this protection is by passing the antibodies from the mother to the baby at the time of birth. But as the baby starts growing, their immunity is going to drop down and the antibody levels are going to drop down, but into the chicken pox. So this chicken pox is a virus, which is a common virus, which is there and it spreads through the droplet infection. Like whenever any person who has the chicken pox, if he sneezes or coughs, that can be transmitted to the other children who are immune, not immune to the virus. So this can be prevented by getting your child vaccinated by chicken pox vaccination. Generally, this vaccination is given at 15 months as the first dose, and then followed by the second dose in three to four months gap. So, if you have two doses of chicken pox during the first to second year of life, then you probably prevent your child getting from chicken pox infection. Now, the chicken pox infection generally starts with fever or cough, and then the rashes start spreading from the center to the other parts of the body. So, these rashes are very typical, and I'm sure when you see your pediatrician, they will be able to identify whether it is a chicken pox or not. And this chicken pox have different the rashes around the body with fluid filled, you know, pimples kind of a thing, and some of them will be healed. Generally, this rash persists for one to seven to ten days, sometimes even 14 days. When all the rashes become scaled or it becomes healed, that is the time where we say that okay, the lesion has healed and probably they are not infective to others. So, kindly seek advice about the chickenpox vaccination with your respective pediatrician and prevent your child from getting chickenpox in future. If in case, if a child gets a chickenpox naturally, then they will have a lifelong immunity, so you don't need to be worried. So, I would advise the parents to kindly look into their, uh, look into your child's immunization schedule and get all the vaccination done. And this is very common during the summer time. So thank you very much.